Welcome everybody, we are here in Lisbon where we have the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge on the left side and the Apple iPhone 6S Plus on the right side. Both beautiful devices have the same display size actually and uh, the hardware is almost the same in both if you uh, check out the camera which I think most people will use um, and battery size you cannot really compare since it's a little bit smaller in the iPhone with um, 2800 roundabout milliamps but with 3600 the Samsung seems to have a bigger battery for example but actually since it has a higher display resolution it probably needs also uh, more battery so that's um, all right there so um, we will definitely compare here a little bit um, the cameras and also the design a little bit in the beginning so let me just turn off both devices and let's um, pick them up to show you guys already that even though both have the same display size that you can use um, the Samsung is a little bit smaller you could say if you look at it from the height the iPhone is just taller um, if you look, uh, put them both in front of each other, uh, each other you can definitely see here that the Samsung is just a little bit more compact also lighter with 157 grams compared to 190 grams that's probably due to the um, Apple iPhone's complete metal body which the Samsung has just um, around the borders with um, glass on the front and the back. Um, also the iPhone is a little bit slimmer even though it's heavier with 7.3 millimeters compared to 7.7 millimeters um, and if you look at the um, switches and buttons and everything it's quite similar here with the on and off switch on the right side for the right thumb uh, then the nano sim card slot on the side being on the iPhone um, app, uh, the Samsung has that on the top but uh, a big plus for the S7 now is that we have a micro SD card slot also you can expand the memory and in some countries there's also dual sim built in so you can use a second sim card which Apple has never offered on the other side, the volume markers are on the same spot, but on the bottom you will see again similarities uh, with the USB in the middle, the headset on the same side, and then the speaker also on the same side. The microphone is a little bit differently placed, but otherwise it seems quite similar um, on both devices, everything, but um, as I said, the Samsung is also waterproof IP68, so you can take it underwater for um, a half an hour, but not in salty water that you can see, for example, in the background, that's not certified right there. If you look at both from the back, you will see that the camera sticks out a little bit, 12 megapixel back camera. The sensor on the Samsung is supposedly a little bit bigger, but we'll talk about more uh, about that more in a second when we check out also the quality. And um, before we have a single flash on the Samsung with um, also heart rate monitor on the bottom. So if you put your finger there, you will know your heart rate right away. And then on the iPhone, we have here dual and um, flash LED, um, which is also quite nice. Um, for better low light pictures maybe on the front you have also obviously um, a selfie camera with 5 megapixel we will compare that also but what we will do first is compare here the fingerprints um, on both so if I press the button they should unlock at the same time so let's do that the iPhone seemed to be a little bit quicker so let's just repeat that little um, test but actually both were quite quick so let's do it again now the Samsung was a little bit quicker so it's really hard to compare but definitely both are about the same speed when you use them every day it doesn't matter much um, if it was uh, one tenth of a second faster on the iPhone or the Samsung. So B, uh, both seem really quite fast, they have fast processors inside and um, the Samsung has 4 gigs of RAM while the uh, Apple has 2 gigs of RAM um, but on the Samsung as I said before we have a high resolution with 2560 times 1440 which results in uh, 534 um, pixels per inch and we have 401 pixels per inch on the full HD 5.5 inch screen on the iPhone. We just have bigger black borders, that's why the iPhone is bigger, otherwise, as I said, the screen is the same size. So if the screen is the same size, we should shoot, be able to shoot with the same camera, um, pixel size, or so the same kind of pictures. But you can definitely see that on the right side, the um, Apple has a little bit more real um, colors than the uh, Samsung. The Apple has more real colors than the Samsung. Yes, on the left side, you can see it's a little bit bluer, maybe nicer for holiday pics. Um, on the Samsung, but it's not as real as you can see it in the background with um, the um, the view that I have here from my hotel room in Lisbon. Um, but you can definitely see that both have really beautiful picture and um, quality with 4K video capabilities also and up to um, 240 pictures uh, per HD ready um, video capabilities um, when it comes to slow motion, both for the back camera. So if I turn around on both the camera, you will definitely see uh, that we have uh, on the front a better camera for the Samsung since um, the wide angle is a little bit better and once it focuses not on my camera on the front, you can definitely see also that both are beautifully sharp and looking um, great here, um, but 
Uh, yeah, both have a little bit of a struggle with the light coming from the window. Um, and I would say maybe the Samsung is a little bit, even a little bit sharper, more real. Um, but my skin just doesn't look as great on the Samsung as it does um, on the iPhone. But if you definitely have a better wide angle um, on the Samsung. So you have to decide for yourself. Both are great selfie cameras. No doubt about that. The aperture is a little bit better on the Samsung with f1.7 on the back and the front. So for low light, that's definitely better. But otherwise, um, the iPhone just has great software to um, yeah, compromise um, that um, <clears throat> smaller sensor and smaller aperture. So enough about that. Let's try out, for example, a little bit a browser where you can definitely see that we have here, for example, the same website open, um, both with the same speed, um, looking good and looking fine, um, running at the same speed. But actually for everyday use, as I said before, both will be, I think, definitely the same way in terms of battery life, in terms of LTE quality, in terms of sound quality and everything else. But Samsung just has a little bit more features with the IP68 waterproofness and also the micro SD expandable memory is quite nice. That Apple Apple doesn't have um, and Apple actually has all the other features also like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, NFC and everything built in in both uh, but these are just smaller features that Samsung has and also the Edge looks also obviously nice but I don't think that there's a real feature behind um, these little extra icons that you can use um, in everyday life. So thank you much for tuning in. This was just a really short comparison video about the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the Apple iPhone 6s plus here on the right side. Thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj and thank you much for watching um, Tech Video.